metabolic bone disease, a nutritional deficiency caused by an insufficient amount of calcium and appropriate levels of vitamin D3 in a leopard gecko's diet. Now this is a very serious disease which can result in irreversible bodily deformities. This is such a simple thing to prevent, but unfortunately so many people are unaware of the importance of calcium and vitamin D3 in a gecko's diet that this disease occurs far too often. Symptoms of MBD include weak bones um, which feel kind of spongy, especially in the lower jaw, um, and also in the spine and legs. Now here are some disturbing images, and um, but they are very important because this will show you what can happen to your gecko if you do not provide the correct diet. Other symptoms such as twitching and tremors may occur and your gecko will probably have a major lack of appetite. Once these signs appear, unfortunately it's quite hard to reverse them. Um, as I said, physically your gecko will almost definitely remain in this deformed state. So what are the causes? Now I'm going to be brutally honest here. The first cause is you. It's hard to hear but you are responsible for your pet. Reptiles are not easy breezy pets. Even if leopard geckos are known as beginner reptiles, they still require a fair bit of care. Leopard geckos need, and I mean need, calcium and vitamin D3. You can get calcium that says on the tub, oh, it includes vitamin D3, but this is not enough. Firstly, leopard geckos need more calcium than D3, and when they're babies or juveniles and they're being fed pretty much every day, um, calcium must be dusted onto the food about five out of seven days a week, and vitamin D3 powder should be dusted two days a week. So, uh, an easy way to remember this is say you do calcium throughout the weekday and vitamin D3 at the weekend. Also, calcium should always be provided in a small dish at all times in the gecko's tank. I also previously explained in another video that D3 powder includes a whole range of other vitamins and minerals that are essential to your gecko's health. So obviously if you just get calcium with D3 that's just not enough. Calcium is obviously needed to maintain healthy bones. It is incredibly important in young geckos who are doing a lot of growing and also incredibly important in females during breeding and um, egg laying and producing those eggs. Though without D3, the calcium will pretty much go to waste as uh, the D3 actually helps the bones absorb the calcium. Now, when your gecko is older, like my geckos, they obviously don't get fed every day of the week, so they don't get calcium five days a week and vitamins two days a week. However, when I feed them, I pretty much do every two feeds they have calcium and every third feed they have vitamins, if that makes sense. Too much vitamin D can actually equally be a problem, so make sure you don't overdo it. Ideally, a calcium that only has calcium in it, rather than added D3, is better like that's what I use um, just in case of over supplementing the D3. Remember what I said leopard geckos may be a beginner reptile but don't underestimate some of the complexities of their diet. Also I would like to point out that leopard geckos do not use UVB lights like other reptiles to get vitamin D. This is why they need the supplements. I go into more detail about lighting in other videos, so if any of these topics come up and I've already covered them, I will put the links in the description below. Now, as I said before, you can sort of fix it, but some of the physical features will be irreversible. Now, I'm no experienced reptile vet by any means, so what I would say firstly is take your gecko to a vet, and ideally get a reptile vet. Now I know some people say, oh I don't live near a vet or a reptile vet, but personally before I bought a lizard I made sure there was a reptile vet near me, 
Um, so that once again, it's your responsibility. If you're going to buy a lizard, do you know that you have a vet on call, really? And that's the same for getting any pets, really. Also, get calcium and vitamin powder as soon as possible. And I'll link some products that I recommend in the description box below. So I'd like to conclude this video with saying leopard geckos still need a lot of care. There are massive commitments since they have now actually been known to live way over 20 years. I would not recommend buying one of these if you haven't done any research beforehand. Please, if you know someone who's thinking of getting a gecko or already has one, please share this with them. Unfortunately, I have seen far too many cases where people were unaware that their geckos even needed these powders and it's safe to say the geckos weren't always in the best condition. You are very welcome to check through my videos. I cover a whole range of things to do with leopard geckos, including setup, diet, handling, taming, and pretty much the list goes on. So if you're unsure about anything, just go and check them out. If you've got to the end of this video, then thank you and well done. You clearly are open to learning more about these little creatures and I really appreciate that.